why people can be assholes on Facebook. This is an interesting concept uh, that uh, the DBB321 brought up to me and said, you know, I would like your insight on this. So I, I decided, hey, I can give it a shot. Okay, the first one is, and this is actually kind of simple, that you don't really understand the emotion behind things. Like, you can't put sarcasm into a sentence without really almost going off the wall about sarcasm. So if you do a subtle sarcasm or subtle humor, uh, people might actually take it as you being very offensive, very dickish. Um, another thing is, we really don't understand consequences. Um, if you look at, like, people who commit murder, they know they're going to go to jail. They know they're going to spend probably at least 20 to life. People still rape, even though they know they're going to spend 15 to 20 years in prison, a chance of being stabbed, and a potential potential of being raped. Okay, so we don't understand consequences. And that, what I truly think is that people don't understand how offensive words can be, or actions can be. And I can verify this, because I once posted a picture on a wall, it was about Valentine's Day of this year, uh, about a friend's party that uh, I was invited to go to. And I made the statement that, uh, you know, the last time I was at his house, you know, this is what I saw. And I posted a picture of Dr. Zoyberg up on the wall. And uh, what it was, was it was a joke about another chick who was at the party who took her shirt off and ran out in the snow naked. And um, I thought it was funny. None of my friends did. All my friends thought I was the most offensive prick out there. So, hey, that's who I am, though. I'm kind of an asshole. So that's one thing. Another thing is, you know, as assholes, or as people commenting, you know, we really don't take into effect how hurtful things can be. So, you know, you can call a dude fat and an asshole, and this goes really well on YouTube, and not see that actually affect any human being. Because I'm not going to make a video of me sitting in a corner crying about being called fat, which doesn't fucking happen, but you get the point. You know, so we don't see the ramifications of what we do. Uh, another thing is, I think on Facebook, definitely, um, that after, you know, I can write one comment that pissed a hundred people off, and people can actually start going through, uh, going through other people's, uh, posts and stuff like that, and they're going to be happy and joyous and start being really happy about these posts and forget about what I said. And, you know, so I won't get ramifications until I do something really big and really dickish. Um, which, hey, it happens. Everyone becomes a dick. I have an issue that... Uh, I've worked restaurants, I have those types of friends where we have done what ifs, we, you know, you know, oh, what if, you know, you didn't have money and you're trapped in a cave with another guy who was a billionaire who wanted you to suck his dick for a million dollars, you know, that kind of crap. And I also look, worked restaurants, so I learned how to do really good zingers and, you know, being quick and stating something without really thinking it through, you know, because someone mocked you, you're going to have to hit them back as hard as you can. So, I do have that issue. I come off as a complete dick and an asshole, and, you know, guess what? I still have friends. Uh, a lot of my friends are the guys who've known me for going on 13, 14 years, so they understand my sense of humor. And that's another big thing. Some people just don't understand who you are, because Facebook, you know... Sometimes you get a friend of a friend who comes to you and starts talking to you, or you find someone who really liked you talking to them at, you know, your local grocery store, you know, shit like that. And then they start, uh, and so you start having a big balloon of friends that you might not actually know that personally, or you might have met one time, 
and they just want to get better to know you. So they're not going to take what you say uh, seriously, or they're going to take your stuff so seriously it's going to actually affect you. And, hey, guess what? It happens. Like, you know, I post videos on YouTube, and I've had some videos that, you know, I got 2,000 hits on. I've had videos that got four hits, and I've had people bitch and moan about one subject and not about another. And some people, you know, I made a video about clubbing baby seals, and people took so much offense to it, but don't understand that, you know, when I made that video, it was a, for a lot of my friends, and the joke was, I, I can actually fake cry, um, and be very good at it. So, you know, some people didn't get that joke, or they compared me to Chris Crocker, and crap like that, which I wasn't doing. I was making a joke for my friends to really enjoy. That's why I kind of do YouTube, is, you know, that my friends really do kind of enjoy what I do. So, you know, I, I understand every concept, and I think I'm starting to ramble, so I'll, I'll end this pretty much uh, with a quick summary. People are dicks. They'll always be dicks. Um, we don't understand the consequences of our actions, and um, you don't see our faces on Facebook. You see a picture. I mean, you know, you don't get that emotion of, you know, <laughs> you know, you, you don't see me sad. You know, unlike YouTube, where you know, this almost feels like a close kinship, if you get it, uh, because my face is in front of yours. You can even talk back to the screen, and I, I you know, you probably won't get a, the right answer you're looking for, but hey, you know, it's still communication. You're hearing the, vo the, the, the sound of my voice, so you can judge if I'm being sarcastic or, you know, anything in that category. Uh, thank you guys for your time. This was Kill Ogre, of course. Um, also, got this for free. And, and tell you the truth, I mean, it actually does. You know, if I put my shoulders over myself, it actually does um, make me slim down. Uh, I had a lot of people uh, talk to me uh, about a couple of days ago. I was wearing a, uh, a, a nice shirt, or a shirt I don't wear, and it was tight fitting, and I don't like tight fitting clothes. And uh, I got a lot of compliments saying, you know, you look really well and stuff like that, which is kind of nice, but it's not me. You guys have fun.